Saved Password Editor is an add-on for Firefox and other Gecko applications that allows you to create entries in the Password Manager without needing to be prompted, as well as editing existing entries. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Saved Password Editor. First of all, if you are using Firefox or SeaMonkey, you can use the Page Context menu. For instance, to save a login, right-click on a form field and select Save Login Info. Then fill in any missing or incorrect information in the dialog that pops up. Once you finish with that, a notification will pop up confirming the info was successfully saved. You can also use the context menu to edit and delete existing logins associated with a given form. Again, a notification pops up whenever you successfully make any changes. If you happen to save more than one login for a single form, then when you go to edit or delete, an extra menu will pop up so you can select which one to operate on. Saved Password Editor also adds features to the built-in Saved Passwords window, seen here without Saved Password Editor installed. Normally, to access it in Firefox, on Windows and Mac OS, you go to Tools, Options, go to the Security pane, then click on Saved Passwords. On Linux, you go instead to Edit Preferences. On Windows and Linux, if you have the Firefox button turned on, you can also use the Preferences or Options item in that menu. In Thunderbird, it's similar, but in the Options or Preferences window, you go to the Security pane, select the Passwords tab, then click on Saved Passwords. In SeaMonkey, select Privacy and Security, then Passwords from the category list. Then click on Manage Stored Passwords. This brings up the Data Manager with the Passwords section pre-selected. This add-on also adds a shortcut to the Tools menu of many windows, as well as the Firefox button. Here's how to use the added features in Saved Passwords. The first thing you should notice is an added button. This button changes depending on whether or not you have passwords selected. There are also items in a context menu associated with the list and a drop-down menu for the button. To create a new login, select the New command. At this point, you may enter the information by hand if desired, or if you have a page loaded in the current browser tab that has a login form you wish to create an entry for, you may click on the Guess from Current Page button, which will fill in as much information as is available, assuming it can detect a login form, then fill in and correct information as appropriate. For logins other than web forms, you will need to fill in all information by hand. To edit an existing entry, select it in the list and choose the Edit command. You may also create a new entry based on an existing one with the Clone command. It is also possible to edit multiple logins simultaneously if they are of the same type and share some of the same data. In this case, the header at the top reminds you that you are editing multiple logins. Any fields whose values differ across the selected logins display a checkerboard pattern. Any changes you make are propagated to all of the logins you selected. A toolbar button is available. To access it, you must first add it to the toolbar. Select View Toolbars Customize or right-click a blank area of the toolbars and select Customize. Find Saved Passwords in the Customizer palette and drag it to where you want it in the toolbars. Finally, let's look at the options you can set for this add-on. First, there is a checkbox for whether or not you want to see the menu items in the Tools menu and Firefox button we saw earlier. Second, you can choose what happens to the password field when you open the editor window, whether it should always start out hidden, always start out being shown, keep whatever state it had last, or depend on whether passwords are being shown in the Save Passwords window. I hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you find Save Password Editor useful. If you have any problems, please use a support link on the add-ons main Mozilla add-ons page. Please do not use the review system for this purpose, since it is not designed for support, and I will not be able to contact you and therefore will not likely be able to help you. Thanks for watching.